Hey guys, uh, I know I know it's been a while. It's been quite a while. Uh, so, I, if you're wondering why I have so many accounts on Instagram and why I haven't been updating on my, like my first account, they all got. I, I lost the phones, and then I couldn't get back into this account. But I'll talk about that later. What I want to talk about right now is. This right here, which I'm very excited. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to do this. I feel like I've been torturing myself. I don't know why. Uh, so I just, I just want to, you know, get this over with. Finally review this thing. Uh, I don't know what the lighting's going to look like. I have this light back here. But, like, if I turn that off, that's not too bad. But for now, I'm going to keep it on. So, we're going to open this thing. This is from NECA. This is Dirtbag and Ground Chuck. And I, I... I don't know these characters. I did watch the classic cartoon, but this is not the cartoon that I grew up with. I grew up with the 2012 Nickelodeon TMNT. That, that's what I grew up with. That's what I... When I say Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's what I refer to. I, I loved that show, you know, uh, eventually my cousin got into it, my uncle did too, and we would always talk about it, but I don't really remember these characters from the cartoon, but I think I speak for a lot of people where I'm more familiar with Ground Chuck than I am with Dirtbag. I did, I do have the Ground Chuck classic um, figure, I don't know where it is at the moment, but... I mean, I always thought he was a cool-looking guy, you know, like a mechanical bull, but we'll talk about that. And then, let's talk about the box. On this side, you get a picture of Dirt Bag. The back, you get a read-up on the turtles. I don't know why you don't get a read-up on, on these two. That would have been helpful. Then you have these guys in the wave. If you guys want me to review those, I gladly will, because right now I am on a, you know, turtle spree. You know, I really like NECA Turtles right now. I don't know why. There's Chrome Dome, Wingnut and Screw Loose, and Mondo Gecko, and Kerma. Really, really want the Mondo Gecko one. I've always been a fan of Mondo Gecko. And then there is a picture of Ground Chuck. So, let's stop waiting around and get into this. Alright guys, so, uh, you know, I'm kind of just experimenting with lighting right now, but... Here are the two figures out of the package. I'm going to show you the accessories in a bit, but my god, there were way too many zip ties. And I know usually I'm fine with zip ties, but these, dude, they're so annoying. They're these little things right here. God, dude, just annoying. Uh, anyway, once I got the figures in hand, I knew I was going to like them both. But really, the, these guys are just really, really cool. I was mostly excited for Dirtbag because I don't know him. But NECA just nails it with these turtles. Like, the articulation and everything. The problem is, you know, they kind of paint the joints. So paint chipping happens a lot. But, like, it, it's really cool. But the problem is, I started playing with him a little bit out of the package. I don't know if anyone else has these problems with it. But my dirt bag is having really bad, uh, you know, problems. Like, his head just falls off. You know, there's the two-tone painting. And, like, the shadowing effect and everything. You know, Neka just, just does it well. Uh, I think I'm going to start with Ground Chuck. Only because I'm more familiar with him. And then I'm going to try to do stuff with Dirt Bag. And it, it just seems right out of the box that Dirtbag came with a bit more accessories. So let's check out Ground Chuck. Alright, so here's Ground Chuck. I'm just going to have the light on for when I'm doing, uh, you know, just single figure. I'm not doing both of them at a time because, you know, one might get more love than the other with the light. But Ground Chuck is really cool, guys. I've been messing around with him. He's a bit loose at the waist, though. You know, a bit loose at the legs. But, I mean, I'd rather have it more loose than tight. And also, I'm in the middle of a storm right now, so if you guys hear that, that's what that is. But yeah, he's really cool. Right now, I don't have the fig- I, I have him somewhere, but 
on hand with me right now, I don't have, like, you know, the classic, you know, 90s figure of this guy from the original cartoon. But he's, this guy's cool, you know. He does get a bit hindered by uh, this, does he? Or is that just because he's tight? I don't want to force it. He seems tight. I don't want to mess with that. Uh, whoa, okay. <laughs> wow, I might need to mess around with him with a hairdryer or whatever, but dang. I think it's mostly ground chuck. His dirt bag was fine. Oh my gosh. You know, I'm used, I'm not really used to NECA yet. You know, I'm starting to get used to them because they're pretty expensive figures. But, I mean, for what you get, they're really cool. But, jeez, these things. And, like, I have the NECA, hold on. I have the NECA King Kong. Oh, there we go. I got it. It was just stuck. Wow, okay. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, I have the NECA King Kong. And, you know, his joints weren't this bad, but... Might just be newer NECA figures. Yeah, it was just stuck in place. I like this pose right here. This is, he's really cool. Uh, all the paint, he's the two-tone painting. It's really cool. The cybernetics. This, this is a, just a really strange character. A red bull. This is the strangest color. The green hair. The eye and everything with the bullseye right here. This this is soft plastic, so if you're trying to move it forward, I mean, it kind of hinders it, but not really. The legs. The, and it can bend, too, at the legs, just to let, let you know. Oh, this one's a bit stuck. I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess with the stuck joints too much. And also, the jaw is articulated, so you can... Okay. Is his jaw articulation that messed up? Oh my gosh. See, it's like I put on a completely different head. And this is really cool. Ah, oh God, I, I love Ground Chuck so far. You know, he's pretty fun to mess around with. Get the legs right here. I love the painting on the feet. This one. The belt, the, the bull logo on it. Then you got the branding over here for the Foot Clan. Imagine being that demoted that you brand yourself with your team's logo. Got the bull logo right there. This is the same one on his belt. The padding. So far, ground chuck is probably a 10. I would say 10. You know, I'm just starting to get off with this whole TMNT NECA series. And, and this set, you know, it's a bit pricey. But NECA has always been a bit pricey. So far, this is a great way to start off this brand. So for accessories, Ground Chuck does come with a couple different hands. Let me just move this out of the way. He does come with a couple different hands. So he starts off with the default hands that he is packed in with. Then you have like these relaxed open hands, which are probably my favorite. I always love the uh, open hands kind of a bit more than, you know, the default hands. Then you have these gripping hands, which can be used for two of the accessories, although one of them is specifically given to Ground Chuck, while the other one is specifically given to Dirtbag. Then the final accessory you get is this weird gun type thing. It has a beaver tail. Maybe that's why his name is Ground Chuck. I'm not sure why, actually. It doesn't have a beaver tail. Maybe that's not a beaver tail. Again, I have never seen the episodes or episode that he has been in, but you see it has the blue nose ring like he does, and it has the same horns. So... That's all for Ground Truck's accessories. Now, we can move on to Dirtbag. So here we have Dirtbag, and this character was the character that I was kind of, you know, thinking about the most while buying this pack. Although, Ground Chuck left very good impressions. So, uh, yeah, Ground Chuck, I mean, Dirtbag, you know, he looks, looks really cool. He has the same, you know, whole jaw articulation. His jaw opens way easier. It looks like I put on a whole different head. Besides the fact that it comes off after doing that. I think it's just the way it's sculpted. 
Yeah, I think it's just the way it's sculpted, maybe. Or maybe it's just, I have a weird one. I might need to do stuff with a blow dryer with that. But I like how it's like, you know, so chunky that it can't really fit into the pants. So the belt's kind of like pushing it back. It's this really cool backpack with the two-tone shading. You can open this thing, but, you know, and you can, oops, you can store stuff inside. I don't know what you can what you can store in there. I mean, there's nothing in there. Can't take it off, by the way. It's just stuck to his back. Uh, he's cool looking. I think one of the, my favorite parts about him is the fact that, you know, one shoe, you know, one foot doesn't have a boot and the other one does. I thought that was really cool. And then also the whole helmet thing with the goggles. It would be cool if you can you know, put the goggles on him, but I guess it's asking for, you know, a bit too much. We're already getting quite a bit with this. And as I said, Dirtbag does have the most accessories. So, yeah, I guess we now just look at Dirtbag's accessories. So let's get to that. So Dirtbag does come, you know, his normal default hands. You know, the closed fist type hands. Then we have more of my favorite type of hands to put on these figures. You know, the open, relaxed hands. And then we have... And then he has the gripping hands uh, that can hold, you know, three, no, four of the accessories. Although one of them, you know, that's ground chugs guns. Uh, so let's get to the other accessories. So for the other uh, two accessories that he can hold, there's one more, uh, is this Weird gun, I have no idea what this is. Again, I, I didn't even know this guy existed until I got this pack, but I did some researching, and I think I know why. I have a theory why uh, Dirtbag got more accessories than Ground Chuck, and I think it's because, you know, Dirtbag is a lot harder to find as a classic figure, and also, like, you know, people are trying to figure out what he is, like, people don't know who he is, so this is giving you, like, a better understanding who it is, you know, introducing you to more who this character is, and also for the people who do know that it, who it is, collect toys, and, uh, don't want to pay, like, 60 to to $100 on the classic dirtbag figure, they can easily get two figures that are really cool, and, you know, have a bunch of things to go with it. So we have this weird gun, no idea what it is. I saw it, I thought it was a nail gun. Probably isn't, might, it might, it might be, I'm not taking that out of my mind, since, you know, it's a bull and a rodent, so. And then we also have this shovel. I have no idea, I mean, I don't know why I said I have no idea. I know why it comes with it. I mean, he obviously goes in the ground, what's he, a mole? He's not a mole. Oh, anyway, you know, hence the name Dirtbag. He's obviously going to be traveling under the ground a lot. So let's get to the other accessory that, uh, you know, kind of target that idea more. Then we have the final two accessories, and they're probably my favorite accessories of the pack besides, you know, the relaxed open hands uh, for both of the characters. I really like these accessories specifically, you know, because he has that hard hat on, which I love. I mean, all the details on this character that NECA did, uh, you know, to bring it over from the cartoon to the figure, it really, really is cool. Uh, the detail that they put on this dirt mound, pretty hefty stuff. The detail is, like, really, really good. You know, as that cartoon circles all over the place. And at first, I thought he was able to stand in it, but his stance is a bit too wide. So I'm just going to put it like that. You know, it looks like he's drilling down. Then you have the drill. Uh, you know, there's not too much going on here, but it is really cool how they did it, you know. It's like a two-gripped, two-handle thing, so you need two hands for it. And I think this is my, this might be how I display him with the dirt mount in front of him like he's drilling down. I think that would be really cool. 
Uh, so yeah, that's it for accessories for dirtbag and ground chuck. Alright, for some size comparisons, right now we have the DC Multiverse. I don't know if the camera can fully see that. We have the DC Multiverse Blood Sport. It's really cool. And, yeah. and you can kind of see it with ground chuck if I put it back here. They're basically the same size, although ground chuck is a bit bigger, only be because, only be because, what? I don't know if, I, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, it's the sound of the rain, let me move this over so I can try to get both of them in there, that's as good as I'm, it's gonna get for now, um, but yeah, uh, I, I expected DC Multiverse to be a bit bigger, Actually, quite a bit bigger. Uh, I mean, DC Multiverse figures are usually bigger than, uh, you know, Marvel Legends as it is. So, yeah. And then, for the next size comparison, we have the NECA King Kong, like I was talking about earlier. This guy does not want to stand, and that is my main problem with him. Very, very difficult to stand up. Very see if that works. I don't care. He's leaning down. Let me just hold him like that. So, uh, yeah. Nick, I mean, I expected King Kong to be bigger, uh, you know, since he's a gigantic ape. You know, it's kind of in his nature to be bigger, but yeah. I mean, other things will scale up to the, uh, these guys pretty well. I expected them to be small because I think a lot of the other uh, Turtles in the Wave are a bit smaller, you know, in the animated wave. I do have another NECA turtle figure. I'm not going to exactly say who, because, you know, since I'm back and doing videos again, I have, you know, another toys and stuff. Pretty, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. You know, it's, it's been quite a bit. I have another toys and stuff planned, uh, and I have, you know, a couple more things planned. Um, from stuff I got from Christmas, and then I also have, uh, you know, the other NECA turtle thing. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited. I'm I'm trying. I'm still trying to you know fix up my old my whole setup. Uh, you know, it's been a while, so I haven't really moved. I moved stuff where my setup is. What is happening outside? It's like a truck out there now, and then there's rain. It, it doesn't matter. Um. You know, I'm, I'm pretty excited to, you know, move stuff out of the way so I can make a whole display for all these uh, NECA things that I really want to get for the Turtles. I want to start collecting more of the NECA figures as it is because I just think NECA is a really awesome company, you know. I feel like out of all the companies, even though Hasbro does really, really try with their stuff, NECA takes it for the win when it comes to, like, uh, pretty affordable, uh, emphasis on the pretty, pretty affordable figures that have, like, outstanding details. The details on both of these characters, even the King Kong back there, are just really, really good. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to get the other videos that I'm talking about out later. You know, I have these, the figures for Christmas. I want to do another toys and stuff. Um, and then also, I might do some more Kamikastis. Okay, something just fell. Uh, you know, my whole podcast thing with talking about it. And then I also want to do lives. I'm going to start lives. There's a lot of things, like I said, uh, on my Instagram post. My first, first account. I said I wanted to make changes, and these are a lot of the changes that I really want to do, so I'm going to try to bring those changes to the channel. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. And you know, kind of for a throwback, I forgot to do this earlier, uh, the closest classic uh, turtle figure I could find is Screw Loose, I mean, I'm sorry, Wingnut. So, here is the classic Wingnut compared to the two NECA Turtles figures that I am reviewing today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. 
and I will see you all later.